Hello again, my name is Ray Eden, and as many of you might know, I am from New York City. And so I thought that I would tell you a story about something that happened to me in New York. And the story goes something like this. I saw an old man as I walked down the street. He was drawing a crowd with his enchanting speech. He said, I'll show you a game that they play down under. The Australian Aces, the Monty, the Shuffle, three blank cards and a single black ace. So pull out your wallets. Let's pick up the pace. But let's make it easy. He said, why make it hard? Instead of four, we'll use only three cards. Two of them blank with the ace in the middle. It will soon be the answer to our upcoming riddle. So he showed us the blank and next the ace. And finally, the blank with that same smile on his face. Now answer my riddle and lay down your bets. Where is the ace? Tell me what is your guess? So I laid my money on the card in the middle. I knew the answer to the old man's riddle. But he said with a smile as he turned over the card, maybe for you this game is too hard. In fact, you will see that the cards in my hand are all the same color admittedly bland. For the ace that you seek is right over here. And when he turned it over, it became abundantly clear. For what he had done was a con artist scam, but I handed my money to the gifted old man. I backed away not wanting to stay. I'd keep my money, let someone else play. But I just had to watch this clever old man working his cards for I had a plan. Again he laid the first card aside, brought the ace to the middle with a smug look of pride. Again he showed the blank and next the ace and finally the blank with that same smile on his face. Again, his invitation to play was extended to those who stood and watched him work unoffended. But this time I caught him. He wasn't so quick. I saw him make a very fast switch for the ace in his hand, for the blank on his table. To make back my money, I now was able. As the mark laid his money on the card in the middle, I'd found the answer to the old man's riddle. Three blanks in the hand and an ace in the hole was how my money and the mark's money was stole. I stepped up again. I said, this time I'll play. The old man smiled for the fourth time that day. Again, he laid the first card aside, but this time his con, he could not hide. Where is the ace? Tell me what is your guess? Hear now my answer to his little test. None of the cards that you hold in your hand is an ace. This I now understand. So I lay my money on the card in the hole. But when he turned it over, the shock took its toll. For the card was blank, so bare and so bland. My hope swept away like the winds on the sand. The old man smiled and shook his head. If only you'd chosen one of these cards instead.